Morning high guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, but a little bit smoky. A little bit smoky here. They in the collapse of everything on this lovely, other than the smoke, mid August morning. It is a Thursday morning. It is literally middle of August. It is August 15th. 2024 and so guys my uh my evil twin over on that other channel is biting at the bit to to, to have this rant but uh but 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 i'm claiming it and so we will see uh how, how much how much trouble this one gets me into as uh I want to talk about, uh, I guess he's still one of my heroes, Nate Hagens. Nate Hagens, uh, I'm sure anyone who's interested in the chronicling of the collapse of everything is a fan of Nate Hagens' YouTube channel. And so I'm going to send this out to all the... Uh, Nate Hagen's fans on one hand. On the other hand, I think I'm going to send this rant out. Okay, who am I going to send this one out to? Uh, let's see. Andy the Gardener. Gloria Nanati. EP from BC. And I think I can add uh, Elliot Jacobson to this, to this list of people who... Uh, might actually appreciate this rant, but let's see how many uh, people I can uh, infuriate by uh, by by this rant. And so understand that that Nate Hagen's, <clears throat> you know, with I think his channel is what's it called, the Great Simplification, or something like that, is one of the the best chroniclers of the collapse of everything. Uh, on YouTube, uh, Nate is as much as anyone. I, I guess uh, one of the main reasons I no longer do interviews because why do I need to bother when when you've got Nate Hagen's uh, interviewing all of these people? So anyway. As I'm sure some of you already know, Nate came out, was it just yesterday or anyway in the past few days, I think it was just yesterday, uh, his latest interview, this two-hour interview with this, uh, I guess Nate describes him as a global ecologist, this uh, ecologist from Australia by the name of Corey Bradshaw. I, I'm pretty sure I have read a couple of things that Corey Bradshaw uh, has written. Uh, Corey Bradshaw is not a clueless moron. Okay. Corey Bradshaw and Nate Hagens understand as well as any two human beings on this planet how fucked we are. All right, uh, so, so anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm watching this, this uh, interview uh, last night, and uh, I'm just, I, I, I guess, I, I guess I'm feeling like, what did I just read? Someone claim like a 12-year-old a, a boy uh, just discovering uh, Pornhub. I, I mean, I started out watching this two-hour interview last night, and it was absolute top-shelf grade Doomer porn. From, from the very opening, where where Nate is on there, and he said he he it's something like he almost uh, considered putting a viewer discretion. Uh, warning on this that this was one of the most in your face we are so fucked there is not a damn thing any one of us is going to do about it uh, and one of the most intelligent conversations 
uh, that I have ever heard Nate Hagen's having uh, with, with one of his guests. It was an absolute breath of fresh air uh, for, for in, in, anyone in, in, into just rock solid doomer porn. And, and this was an you know, an interview with an ecologist. So <clears throat> the first half of the interview was uh, more or less just like an ecology 101 course where uh, Corey Bradshaw was talking about uh, an ecologist view of the sixth mass extinction uh, on on this you know unfolding on this planet uh, he makes absolutely uh, has no problem saying we are definitely in the middle of the sixth mass extinction and he's claiming uh, you know as I in in, in book hermit uh, have said that up till now that the three biggest drivers of the sixth mass extinction unfolding on this planet are habitat destruction, just plain old over harvesting, meaning just outright killing uh, our fellow earthlings, and invasive species that far and away, it, 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 it's those three human activities. And I'm thinking, come on, Corey, just say it. Okay? The, the, what's causing the sixth mass extinction is not habitat destruction. It is not over-harvesting. It is not invasive species being spread around the planet by humans. It is humans. What is so fucking hard about this to say what the problem on this planet is? It's humans. They always put this word, human activities, which it, which is a little bit redundant. It is humans. As far as I know, guys... I think my soft white underbelly interview uh, from going on two years ago, am I the only person, the only doomer uh, who's ever gone on record as saying the problem on this fucking planet is humans? Okay, so anyway, uh, so, you know, Corey breaks all this down and then uh, where he veers off uh, from Book Hermit, but it, it write exactly what I have been saying uh, from day one, that so far the sixth mass extinction has very little to do with climate change, but what you see now is climate change, you, you know, becoming the biggest threat to life on earth and uh, with, with each passing year and decade that climate change is going to play a bigger and bigger and bigger part uh, in, in, in the sixth mass extinction and so uh, according to Corey Bradshaw's reading of the tea leaves and, and I highly encourage you to watch this video despite my review of it uh, coming up, uh, he is claiming that the most of these estimates by other ecologists talking about like 10 to 15 percent of our fellow earthlings are going to go extinct. Uh, is it, it's like pull your head out of your ass. Uh, Corey Bradshaw is claiming at least 50 percent of our fellow earthlings are going to go e extinct uh, this century um, and, and climate change it is going to be a bigger and bigger reason for this and 
he, he, he sees no reason to believe, I think I'm remembering this correctly, that uh, we're, we're, we're not going to hit at least 3 degrees C, just as Elliot Jacobson was por pointing out, that there, there, there's no stopping at least 3 degrees C. And uh, we are looking at, 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 at clearly uh, at, at one of the, uh, the biggest mass extinctions in the history of this planet, and not counting that asteroid uh, s smacking the planet, that this is going to be one of the most rapid uh, mass extinctions in the history, probably the second most rapid after that uh, asteroid. He goes, normally you understand that a, that a mass extinction event takes about two million years. Uh, but it ain't going to take any two million years. Uh, he, he goes, we're, instead of two million, we're looking at 100 years. That the, 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 the next hundred years on this planet uh, is, 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 you know, from a geological point of view, is right next to that asteroid. That uh, we are the asteroid. So anyway, that is the, the first hour, just a just a basic lesson in the most basic uh, ecological principles about overshoot, where he does, uh, you know, sounding a lot like William Reese explaining what over, you know, ecological overshoot and, 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 and that whole thing. It is an excellent overview. Uh, so that hour is uh it, it, it is great but then uh nate ratchets it up a bit and he finally broaches the whole subject of uh, of overpopulation i i can't remember what the title of this uh uh, 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 of this interview was. I think it had overpopulation in the title, but anyway, I'm not going to run excerpts from it. Uh, although there were some absolute glorious Doomer Nugget quotes coming from both uh, Corey Bradshaw and Nate Hagens. And, and I am just sitting here going, you go uh, Corey, you go, Nate, for anybody who wants to understand what's going on on this planet. Uh, listen to this interview in, in it, and, and, and it gets better and better and better, and, and, and it's building and building and building there. It, it, you know, you can tell that this is two doomers in, in a groove together. Uh, hell yeah, uh, and the, 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 the only problem I start, so I, I, I guess in, in hindsight, uh, in, 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 in retrospect, thinking about, I don't know where this was, maybe an hour and ten minutes into it. Uh, they're they're getting into the discussion about uh, birth rates and fertility rates and and why uh, women particularly in sub-saharan Africa have such high fertility rates like I was you know in the DRC it's six kids per woman uh, that's the average family size. What is it about? So uh, Corey asked the question to Nate, and, and I guess to anyone listening, and, you know, including me, what is the single biggest driver of high fertility rates? And, and, and so Nate is throwing out uh, all of the usual suspects. My usual, uh, my, my guess was poverty. 
which I'm sure Nate mentioned somewhere in there. It, it and uh, and Corey says it has nothing to do with poverty. Well, maybe not nothing, but it has almost nothing to do with poverty. It has almost nothing to do with culture. It has almost nothing to do with religion. Uh, any of these, uh, almost nothing to do with education. It, it, that it, it has nothing to do with any of these human overlays that uh, the reason sub-Saharan African women are still having six uh, children is because of infant mortality rates, that this is biologically hardwired in to women in Sub-Saharan Africa, if, if I'm understanding this correctly, that it's like any other species, that it is a response to a high uh, childhood uh, m mortality rate, which is why uh, Corey is saying that the best way to bring down the the birth rate, uh, the fertility rate in Sub-Saharan Africa is, you, you, you know, to keep the kids who are being born from dying. And the more Sub-Saharan African babies we keep alive on the planet, the fewer Sub-Saharan African babies are, 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 are going to be born and he is he is you know talking about this as an ecologist and so i don't know at, at one point uh, you know nate Hagens is going who am i to argue uh with, with the expert here so i should have been i guess i i i should have been a little bit tipped off that we were heading uh, that that there was a, a a problem forming in this interview, and then Corey makes the uh, what what I think the somewhat startling statement. I I could tell that Nate Hagens was uh, w w was a little bit startled by this. That according to Corey Bradshaw, the human population on this planet is going to go to at least 10 billion people. There is no way we are going to stop this from happening. And the vast, vast majority of the growth on this planet is going to be driven by Sub-Saharan Africa. It is where it's happened. He goes, it makes no difference uh, where... He goes, uh, war, war, economic collapse, uh, pandemics. What did he say? Did, did he say that makes the corona panic look like a bad hair day? He said something to, to that effect that, uh, and, and, and I guess he was including... Uh, that that he was including uh, the temperature going up uh, 3C, uh, you know, obliterating more than one half of our fellow earthlings off the planet and, and, and uh, that there was nothing that's going to stop this population from going to 10 billion. Uh, it, 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 it ain't going to happen. And, and, and to Nate's credit, to Nate's credit, he did, you, you, you know, blow a little bit of the bullshit whistle on that. And, and you know, and, and, and uh, he tried to, you could see that he really wanted 
to debate this point that the, the human population was going to keep rising and rising and nothing to stop it before 10 billion, including a 3C rise. But it was, uh, uh, so I was going, you tell them, Nate, and I, and I was hoping they were going to get in a big Doomer brawl. Uh, but, but I was horrified that, that Nate Hagen's, uh, after making a, a, a little bit of an attempt to uh, break into this and, uh, and, and, and argue this point, he just rolled over. He, he just rolled over and, and turned into what I call the, the nodding dashboard chihuahua as this guy was making these claims. But anyway, I, I, I let that pass and so then the so then 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 the the doomer porn returned and I breathed a big sigh of relief and and I absolutely loved it where Corey Bradshaw uh, you know Nate was as we do in so many of these interviews when we have people on here just getting Corey Bradshaw's uh, opinion on is it overpopulation or overconsumption driving he was talking in particular the rise in greenhouse gases but you can kind of extrapolate that uh, in, in, into the larger subject of overshoot is it overpopulation or overconsumption is more responsible and, 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 and I am saying for ecological overshoot, I guess using greenhouse gases is one subset of that. And Corey uh, Bradshaw, w without hesitating, says 80% of it is due to overpopulation is four times as, uh, as strong as overconsumption uh, for the reason this planet uh, is in. And uh, so anyway, so the interview gets back on track. Uh, I, I, I'm sitting there just basking again and, and it returns to top shelf five star doomer porn and I was planning to uh, make this rant getting out and, and, and telling everyone if you listen to one interview this year that this is the single greatest interview and so it builds and builds and builds and I probably should play this but uh, if, if you want to hear the clip I'm talking about, go on the interview and, and come in about minute 122. Uh, minute 122, and, uh, and, and, and Corey's building and building, and he goes into this, you know, boils it all down into how fucked we are right about minute 124 to 125, Corey Bradshaw encapsulates in, 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 in less than two minutes everything I have been trying to say and I assume that Nate Higgins has been trying to say uh, since day one in, in, in our respective uh, careers and, and I'm saying every human on the planet needs to listen to this two minutes of explanation of, 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 of why we're so fucked and there's not a damn thing we're gonna do about it and and I'm cheering the man on and then I'm thinking it's somewhere between the 125 and the 126 
uh, I mean, hour in 25 minute, an hour in, in uh, 26 minute timestamp that Corey Bradshaw without a break, no interruption from Nate Hagens, who I'm sure, like me, is cheering the guy on w w without the slightest hesitation. Corey Bradshaw goes from the single greatest encapsulation uh, of why this planet is doomed into this absolute, just over the top, over the Seneca cliff uh, description of this, this wall of hopium uh, just, just comes out of nowhere, and right after uh, the, the, the greatest two-minute explanation why we're so fucked, he actually, I'm not making this up, guys, he actually mentions the word solutions, right after they spent an hour and 25 minutes talking about how there are no solutions to this. Uh, he, he mentions the word solutions, and the first thing out of his mouth is food waste. That we can save the planet, uh, we can go right on up to 10 billion people, but we can save the planet if we can stop food waste. Uh, to save the planet. I don't know. Did you guys see that uh, that that video that they've been showing about that 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 uh, that plane wreck in, in Brazil last week, where, where, where the plane is flying and then it goes zoop, bam, and smashes and, and, and explodes in a fireball uh, on the ground. That, that's the best way I can describe what happened. In a period of 30 seconds, this train wreck, I mean, it was the Hindenburg of Doomer interviews. Oh, the humanity! And I'm thinking, what the fuck is going on here? And, you know, it's kind of a split screen with it. And I'm looking at Nate Hagens and going, dude, dude. Come on, blow, blow the fucking bullshit whistle on here. And, 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 and one of my heroes, uh, Doomer heroes, Nate Hagens, just sits there like, like that fucking uh, dashboard chihuahua. And, 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 and over the, the next, I don't know how much longer I, 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 I could stand this bullshit that th th this interview, uh, in, in the next five or ten, maybe I made it ten more minutes uh, at, at most, but, but before the vomit uh, was rising out of my, you know, up, I was ready to throw my fucking computer against the wall. And, 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 and Corey Bradshaw uh, goes... Uh, from from you know sounding just like William Reese to us uh, sounding like good good God uh, I, I guess any uh, other one of these little hopium soaked apocaloptimistic limp dick lefty greenies talking about all of this bullshit ain't gonna happen solutions. After spending an hour and 25 minutes, 25 minutes uh, talking about how fucked we are, there's no way out. That was that. That was what he said. That that was what it all led to. The the quote. So the cue, if you're listening to this, you will hear Corey Bradshaw. The the best quote. I see no way out. I'm pretty sure. Right around an hour and 25 minutes that you hear Corey Bradshaw say, I see no way out. And within one minute, he is talking about food waste.
as a way out. And, 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 then, and, and then he goes into this shit uh, about not breeding. Uh, and he says, you know, it, ab he would absolutely not uh, ever tell anybody not to breed. That keeping your pecker in your pants and not letting your knickers down uh, it, it has nothing to do uh, w w w w with, uh, w with a way uh, as a solution to this. Uh, and, and, and he actually says, uh, you, you, you know, you've heard it all before, that you, you, you have, you can go right ahead breeding, at least up to two kids. Uh, he sees, and I don't think Corey is a breeder. I'm pretty sure he's not a breeder. Can someone, uh, Gloria, can you look up to see whether uh, Corey Bradshaw, he's Australian, uh, see if see see if this dude is this apocalyptic, hopium, clueless fucking moron is a breeder, because uh, I can't believe any non-breeder uh, would be saying this. And he actually says, if you know, if you buy an electric vehicle and you stop eating meat and either is it fly less or don't get on an airplane uh, you, you know that it is you're doing more to save this planet by driving an electric vehicle uh, becoming a vegan and flying less than not breeding you, you, you know, you remember uh, that, uh, I'm, I'm sure you, if you're a doomer, a few years ago where it used to, you know, would show uh, the 10 things you can do to save the planet. And it, it was diagrammed as the solar system where the sun is in the middle and uh, the nine planets, uh, this is actually in the Guardian. The, the greatest graphic I have ever seen. So you got the nine planets uh, circling the sun, uh, you know, going vegan, the electric vehicle, whatever, and you add up all nine of the planets and compared to the sun, which was having one fewer child one less child, uh, having one less child will do more to, quote, save this planet than all of the planets in the solar system combined. And, uh, and, and, and Corey Bradshaw, just going right along, uh, sound, and, and, and just with this hopium-soaked, apocalyptic, ain't gonna happen litany of unadulterated fucking bullshit and, and, and Nate Hagen's uh, playing the nodding chihuahua on, on the dashboard uh, while he was doing it. Uh, and, I'm, and, and I'm watching this and I'm going, oh my god. God, am I here all alone? Am I the only fucking person watching this? <coughs> I, I guess he has, I guess Nate has 13,000 views on this in one day. I think it was 850 thumbs up. Uh, I don't know how many thumbs down. Uh... Uh, he, I had already thumbed up the video. I wish I could have thumbed it up five times. And then I tried to go thumb it down. But, uh, you know, the, the, the most telling... Of it, so anyway, guys, I, I literally, physically could not stomach listening to the uh, last, uh, I don't know... 20, 30 minutes uh, uh, of this. 
uh, 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 of this interview uh, and thinking that this is the fucking reason uh, that I don't interview people anymore. The, 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 this was the grossest example I have ever encountered uh, in, in, in my own career of interviewing over a hundred people like, you know, like Corey Bradshaw, where uh, everything is going fine. It's usually in the last five minutes, not the last 30 minutes uh, of the interview, where everything that they have said, everything they have said up to that point is spot on chronicling of the collapse then they, they then they they i guess they reach their hand up their ass and they pull out this shit about fucking elect about food waste and electric cars and oh yeah do not forget uh, educating girls. That this is where I, I finally had had enough and, and just reached over and slammed my computer down and and went and and poured myself another drink. You know this educating girls. Uh, I, I am 100% in favor of educating girls. So at one point, uh, Corey. Uh, you know, right, but while he was talking, I, I, I guess, about sub-Saharan African birth rates and, and, and giving men a complete pass. This has the, the, the what's going on in sub-Saharan Africa has nothing to do with men. That men don't have babies. Because, well, they do produce sperm. Uh, men don't have babies. It is all women's fault, and and it's 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 sub-Saharan African women, age fifteen to twenty-seven, that uh, it, it, it is the reason uh, that this planet's going uh, uh, up to ten billion uh, people. Uh, with, with no stopping it. It is all their fault. And, and he says education uh, has, has, so at like an hour and 10 minutes or whenever, he's saying education has nothing to do with the equation why women in sub-Saharan Africa are, are having six kids. And then he says, the solution to that, number one, is don't let any babies die. That's the most important. And then it is educating girls. Education has nothing to do with it. The solution is to educate girls and let and it just uh, you don't have to educate men men aren't have ha having babies uh, that's a direct a direct quote from Corey. men aren't having babies i am so glad to learn from an ecologist that men aren't having babies it has the overpopulation problem on this planet has nothing to do with men uh, you know, I, I have no idea what happened in the last half hour of that interview. Maybe, maybe it went back on track. But uh, it, 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 it was the single biggest fucking train wreck I have ever heard on any Doomer, uh, on any Doomer interview uh, as I have ever had myself or have ever listened to. Uh, I, I, I really feel sorry uh, for Nate Hagen's uh, ha having to put up with that shit. Uh, I, I, I'm trying, e e even though every bit of respect uh, I've ever had for Corey Bradshaw went right down the fucking toilet when he went from, I don't see any way out to food waste in the space of 60 seconds 
my respect for Corey Bradshaw went right down the toilet. I'm trying to hold on to my respect for Nate Hagens. But, uh, you know, guys were fucked. And, and, and this, as much as anything, this, the, this hopium-soaked, apocalyptic, ain't-gonna-happen, unadulterated horse shit. Uh, and that, that people are believing that, 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 does Corey Bradshaw believe one fucking word coming out of his, his clueless moron mouth uh, about this? Does Nate Hagen's, uh, Nate Hagen's, does he believe one word of, the, of that unadulterated horse shit? Uh, coming out of uh, of Corey Bradshaw's mouth uh, about your fucking electric vehicles and, and, and your vegan diet and, and all of the rest of this crap. Uh, I, I, I'm not buying the, the this shit for one second, but uh, you, you should listen to the interview. So either you, you want to turn it off at, at, at an hour and 25 minutes, your cue to turn it off is I don't see any way out and stop it. Uh, and, and, and then you will have just listened to one of the great interviews uh, ever on YouTube. Or you can sit there and, and, and listen to the rest of it. But I agree with Nate Hagens that I, I strongly advise viewer discretion starting at one hour and 25 minutes because if you are a doomer with a brain uh, you're putting uh, you, you, if you ate recently you're putting any food uh, it, it, you know in your stomach in direct jeopardy uh, of being hurled as projectile vomit across the room and you're certainly putting uh, any device you're listening to this shit in jeopardy, in jeopardy because you're going to have an uncontrollable urge to smash it against the wall and, and tell this clueless fucking moron Corey Bradshaw shut the fuck up anyway uh I have got to uh, get back to my gas-sucking lawnmower and get out there and mow the grass while I still can and hope I don't choke to death on wildfire smoke while I'm doing it. Bye, guys. All right, little dog. Are you ready to go? mow the grass. Uh, the smoky skies of upstate New York. Good Lord, here we go again, people. Jesus fucking Christ. Bye, guys.